Hi, I'm Tim. Welcome to our channel and thanks for logging on. If you enjoy these videos, do me a favor and subscribe to our YouTube channel right here at Watchbox Reviews. I would really appreciate it and I promise to update this channel daily. If you love this watch, you can see it and you can purchase it on our website, thewatchbox.com. And today we are discussing the 2018 50 piece limited edition Zenith Pilot Chronometro Tipo CP2 USA Edition in stainless steel. 43 millimeters in stainless steel. This was a 50 piece special run with proceeds used to partially fund the Wounded Warrior Foundation, which helps to assist US servicemen and women injured in the line of duty in getting back to their civilian lives. Now this is a wonderful cause, but it's also a wonderful watch as the timepiece wears easily on my 16 centimeter circumference wrist. Is it a little bit opportunistic? Of course, but again, it's a good cause and the watch is a hand some piece. Though 43 millimeters in diameter, it's a remarkably wearable one for wrists as small as 14 centimeters in circumference, and that's down to the shape rather than the span of the lugs. Lug to lug is an important measurement, and this is 52.2 millimeters, but so is the shape of the case. And here, you can really see that the case itself tapers dramatically at the edge of the wrist. So if you're going to have a problem with the width of lugs that flare out stridently, more or less straight, these are going to alleviate that concern because they do wrap around the wrist and the strap can be pulled straight down without constraint. It's also a reasonably slim watch. On the wrist, this one only 12.9 millimeters thick. It rests wonderfully low. And if you can wear a Rolex Submariner with your cuffs, you're going to be able to wear this because they're almost identical in thickness. The spacing between the lugs is 22 millimeters, so you can find that there's a variety of standard size 22 millimeter aftermarket options, but really consider this Zenith Factory Kudu strap. It's one of the most attractive and supple I've ever experienced. Kudu is not something commonly used in luxury straps. I've seen Moser use it and that's about it. It's also a smart strap because the Kudu being relatively exotic, Zenith is smart enough to isolate that scarce material with rubber, natural vulcanized rubber inlays on the underside stitched on with red and white Patriot themed stitching, so you isolate the wrist, oils, heat, moisture, sweat, and grit from the leather material, which has a wonderful slick suede texture, and you can see it's a bonded strap without any stitching down its lengthwise profile. Simple Zenith stainless steel buckle with the Zenith star on the top. I appreciate that the stanchions or the prongs on the side feature a bridge that's elevated over the prongs so that this one sits on the strap rather than stacking up like you're building a Jenga tower. So that's always a clever design when implemented on buckles. And the case itself is simply beautiful. It's spare, it's traditional, it's quite faithful to the 1965 a. Corelli Custom Zenith Chronometro Tipo CP2 that inspired that. That was a military issue, so this is an appropriate special edition in as much as it honors the military in a watch that references military history. There are transitional bevels, and you can see that they help to blend the tops of the lugs to the flanks of the case. All of high polish, vintage inspired pump style pushers. The flanks of the bezel are deeply knurled and they're also fairly sharp so you have no problem gripping that bezel and turning it. It's bi-directional rotating so this is an aviator style bezel, not a diving bezel. The watch is 100 meters water resistant but a dive bezel should be unidirectional. This moves in either direction. The insert is anodized aluminum and you can see you easily line it up with the minute hand and now you have a convenient 0 to 60 minute timer which is excellent because the chronograph register only reads up to 30 minutes so it's nice to have that secondary timing option. The dial is a matte blue metallic that nicely matches the bezel as well as the strap with a few well chosen red accents and it is a white on blue print and of course this is a 405B caliber so it's a flyback chronograph appropriate for an aviation vocation but also fun to use and a little bit of visual fireworks. You can time two events in rapid succession with it. Turn it all over. And you can see that the American flag motif has been hand lacquered onto the rotor. And I do appreciate that little touch of hand painting. It's beautifully executed and a welcome splash of color. Zenith caliber 405B, 31 joules, automatic winding, 50 to 52 hour power reserve, 10 beats per second, 36,000 vibrations per hour. It's responsible for that characteristic El Primero double step beat rate. So they're marching in double time, military style. But it also has a smoother sweep about its chronograph seconds hand because it is a 10 beat per second rather than 5 six or eight beat per second conventional chronograph. It's bi-directional winding and it features a very handsome combination of 
lateral clutch and column wheel. Now you can see the column wheel interacting with the levers and horns of the system. The El Primero has always been one of the best looking automatic chronographs because essentially nothing is hidden from your view. You can see the lateral clutch moving into and out of contact with that chronograph driving center wheel and then you can see the recentering hammers falling on the hard cam. You can see the blued column wheel itself interacting with its mechanisms and one feature I've noticed on Zenith movements is that the bridges and plates seem to have one standard of finish that is mostly mechanical but if you look carefully carefully at the levers and the horns of the chronograph mechanism. If you look at the lateral clutch of the chronograph, if you loop this movement, you see a level of chamfering, the beveling, the enclage in particular, that is far beyond what you're going to see on the bridges and plates. So there's more hand finishing in these movements than you might guess at first glance. They're actually remarkably artistic in their execution. And this is a remarkably artful execution of the Chronometro Tipo CP2. Colorful and fun, with 50 pieces made, you won't see another, and after all, it was for a good cause. See it and make it yours on the watch box. And we're back with the Zenith Pilot Chronometro Tipo CP2 Wounded Warrior Edition. See the USA Boutique Limited Edition and make it yours on the watch box.